Hello, all you Kaffir preparers. I'm going to walk you through your very first package that you will prepare for your Kaffir reporting season. And this is your um, package 2.0 master reporting package. When you open your package that you um, will get from our website, the very first page that you will complete is the signature page. You'll go to your agency number right here and you are going to pick in this drop down box your agency ID, which um, we are the Comptroller General's office, so we are E120, so I will select that. So as you can see, this sheet is very angry looking. There is lots of red everywhere, and as you fill things out, this red will go away. So um, if I just put in a date, and obviously this date is going to be, um, let's see, I mean, you can fill it out. That will go away. And so just start filling this out. A new feature for this year is we have added this line, date submitted to the CAFR team. This is going to be the date that you have actually emailed to us uh, your file. And this could be, this will be corroborated with the email. So if internal audit comes, they could look at that date and see the actual email when it was received. So make sure that date lines up with the, of what you submitted with when the email uh, was received. Um, okay, uh, then I'm just gonna, you gotta get that um, agency number in first, otherwise you're gonna have problems. Then when you get over here, you can see it has already populated this for you. It, it, will, it will pull information through as you have gotten um, the information filled out in the signature page. Another new feature for 2021 is this saved file naming protocol, and this is going to go forward for all of your CAFR files. Um, we have some issues when we receive files all on the same day from all um, agencies, state agencies, keeping them straight and making sure we um, get your agency properly checked off. So what we are requiring agencies to do is when you save your file, make sure you save it with your agency ID first, followed by the package name. So in this situation, for E120, the package should be saved as, you can see right here, E120 2.0 Mass Reporting Checklist. And it's nice and angry here because we have not saved it yet. Um, <clears throat> and it's an easy save, so all I would do is I would just go file save as, and you can see right here, and so I would just replace the SEC right here with my business number. E, and make sure it's uppercase, otherwise it will be very angry with you and not go away, and then just hit save. you can see now that I have named it E120, it has now changed to properly saved here. And if I mark yes, it will change to green. <clears throat> so make sure it's saved uppercase E120. It will also stay red if you have not filled out on your signature page the E120 because what this formula is doing is it's matching your agency code name to the file name. So just make sure you have that um, properly saved. And then just start going through and answering these questions. They're in red. You have to answer yes or no. Um, I don't think there's any not applicables because if it's not applicable, then the answer would be no. As you can see, you just scroll down um, and when we, we get down here, there's going to be some sections where if you answer yes, then it's going to require you to answer some further questions. Um, so it's gonna require you to, to fill in some further um, information. So once you have completed this spreadsheet, you should have no red items left. And um, once you have no red here, or once you complete this, then it will give you a list of your, require, your required packages along with the dates. I need to change the, the format on this so that you can make sure that you can see when these dates are due. And this is a nice place right here to show you um, what you have due, and it's just kind of all in one place. 
Um, we have this tab here on your mass reporting checklist of an overview of the dates and who is responsible at the CAFR team office for these, um, these packages. As always, you are more than welcome to give us a call. If you call us or email us on the day the package is due, it is a very high probability you will not get a response because that day is extremely busy in taking all the, the reporting packages. So um, that day is <clears throat> really just receiving those files and, and filing them away. So you pro is, it is in your best interest to get all your questions asked and responded to prior to the day it is due if you want to make sure to get a response. So um, once you have finished your, all your questions, you're going to go back to your signature page and when you file, you're going to make the reviewer is going to verify the date submitted to the CAFR team because it's up to the reviewer to make sure that it is submitted timely. And um, all of this will be submitted electronically. So this whole file will be submitted in Excel format, except for the signature page. You will um, fill out all this information here, um, except for the signature portion. All the items in red will need to be figured filled out electronically, except for the signature portion, you'll print this off, sign your name, and then uh, you can scan it and send to us. Now, if you are working remotely, you can do all of that and just send it via email with just an email attached saying, you know, I'm the, approve I'm the reviewer and I approve uh, this package, and that, that will be acceptable as well. So that is just a brief overview of the mass reporting checklist. You're more than welcome to give any one of us a call. Again, just look at the resources tab to figure out who you need to call 